हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल अगेन टुडे वी विल डिस्कस थिन बिटमनस लेयर्स एंड इन दिस प्री मिक्स कारपेट विथ सील कोट दिस प्री मिक्स कारपेट और ओजीपीसी और सिंपली पीसी और समटाइम्स पीएमसी इज एन ओपन ग्रेडेड बिटमनस मिक्स व्हिच इज यूज्ड एज एन ओवरले ऑन अर्बन सेक्शंस एंड एज अ सरफेस कोर्स ऑन रूरल रोड्स इन इंडिया this pmc construction involves use of mixed bitmus material laid and compacted for a thickness of 20 mm but due to high air voids pmc may be prone to intrusion of water which may further lead to increase in pore pressure under traffic and subsequent onset of moisture induced distresses such as stripping of bitumen from aggregates and formation of potholes and therefore a sand seal coat is usually provided over pmc to prevent the entry of surface water this premix carpet can be provided either with paving bitumen or modified bitumen or it can also be provided with emulsion when you use paving bitumen it should satisfy all requirements of is 73 modified bitumen should be tested as per irc sp53 and catalytic emulsion should satisfy requirement of is 887 before use the selection of viscosity grade binder will depend upon the climatic conditions and irc code provides certain guidelines for selection of binder for traffic intensity of less than 500 cvpd and where temperature variation throughout the year is less than 25 degree centigrade then paving grade 60 by 70 may be preferred in areas where difference between maximum and minimum atmospheric temperature is more than 35 degree centigrade and traffic intensity is less than 500 cvpd then 80 by 100 bitumen may be used and paving bitumen 80 by 100 may also be used in high altitude and snow bound regions irrespective of traffic intensity the pre mix work in cold weather with atmospheric temperature below 20 degree centigrade may be done using cut back bitumen mc3 that is medium curing of grade 3 and cut back bitumen mc3 may be used in mixes with less quantity of fine aggregate whereas cut back bitumen of sc3 grade that is slow curing of grade 3 may be used in mixes with appreciable quantity of fine aggregates these are the guidelines given irc code for selection of binder the choice of binder it can be either paving grade or emulsion if it is a paving grade binder then this is the choice of the binder the grade of the binder where lowest daily mean air temperature is more than minus 10 degree centigrade and highest daily mean air temperature is less than 20 degree centigrade then we prefer vg10 and similarly depending upon the climatic conditions you can choose the grade of paving bitumen aggregate should be of good quality it should be clean hard tough and of uniform quality and the specifications which are suggested irc code and sp20 for testing of suitability of aggregate to be used in premix carpet are given in this table the strength can be estimated either by impact test or by loss and resubmission test it should not be more than 30% case of impact value or 40% in case of abrasion value flakiness index of the aggregate should not be more than 25% stripping value should not be more than 5% that means 95% coating should remain the water absorption is limited to 1% only and this test of soundness test is conducted only when the aggregates fail in water absorption the polystone value is suggested to be 55 the quantity of material for 10 meter square of road surface for 20 mm thick premix carpet when bitumen is used as the binder is given in this table for aggregates of nominal size 13.2 mm that is passing 22.4 mm and retained on 11.2 m its quantity will be 0.18 m3 for 10 m square of road surface 
and aggregates of nominal size 11.2 that is passing 13.2 and retained on 5.6 millimeter c its quantity will be 0.09 meter cube and therefore total aggregate to be used in 10 meter square area is 0.27 meter cube the bitumen for this aggregate of nominal maximum size of 13.2 it will be 52 kg per meter cube and therefore 9.5 kg and for the nominal size of a stone 11.2 millimeter it will be 56 kg per meter cube and therefore 5.1 kg so total binder total bitumen to be used for 10 meter square area will be 14.6 kg aggregates 0.27 meter cube and binder 14.6 kg when we are using bitumen emulsion then quantity of material for 10 meter square of road surface will be like this aggregate passing 22.4 millimeter and retained 11.2 millimeter c will be 0 0.18 meter cube and passing 13.2 millimeter and retained on 5.6 millimeter c will be 0 0.09 meter cube this quantity is same as for bitumen but the quantity of emulsion will increase now for 13.2 nominal maximum size of aggregate that is passing 22.4 millimeter and retained only 1.2 millimeter c will be at the rate of 78 kg per meter cube of aggregate and therefore it will be 14 kg and for this size of aggregate 11.2 millimeter nominal maximum aggregate size it will be 84 kg per meter cube so 84 multiplied by 0 0.09 it will be 7.5 kg so a total of 21.5 kg of bitumen emulsion will be required in 10 meter square of road surface construction procedure for laying of premix carpet will be like uh, the underlying surface on which pmc is to be laid should be cleaned for dust or any loose material then apply prime coat if required if it is a regular surface over which pmc is to be laid that we should pro provide a layer of prime coat and tack coat as per requirement and then this pre-mix material is prepared in a hot mix plant for large works mix will be prepared in hot mix plant but for small works mixture of suitable capacity may be used mixing shall be thorough to produce a uniform mix and the mix will then be transported to the point of use in suitable vehicles it will be spread it will be spread by suitable means to the desired thickness grade and camber and when the suitable length of the road has been laid then rolling shall be commenced with 80 to 100 kilometer static weight roller and this rolling should be from edges towards center after one pass of the roller any depression will be filled by spreading extra material or any high spot will be corrected by removing the material and then rolling will again continue until the entire surface has been rolled and all roller marks are eliminated during construction certain quality control tests are required before construction aggregate impact value should be tested on representative sample from each source identified by the contractor similarly flacius index stripping value of aggregate and water different of aggregate should be determined on each representative sample from each source of the aggregate during construction the grading of aggregate and binder content before seal coat at least two tests per day should be conducted Temperature of binder during spraying and thickness of layer should be checked regularly and impact test must be conducted one per kilometer. Now it is found that permeability of pre-mix carpet with no seal coat is about 25 times that of mixed seal surfacing and it is 15 times even after a seal coat has been provided. Permeability of these mixes are found to be higher than critical permeability values proposed in different studies for surface coarse mixes and this is undesirable. 
and therefore premix carpet is also provided with a bituminous sand seal coat to minimize direct penetration of rain water into it and this system works reasonably well on rural roads where the rain water drains away from the pc to other shoulders however the pc is not suitable at all for roads and streets in towns and cities where surface drainage is usually inadequate there are three types of seal coat for sealing the wires and the surface a b and c now type a is it also called liquid seal coat and it is provided with the application of a layer of bituminous binder which is followed by a cover of stone chips type b in this case pre mixed seal coat is provided in a thin application of fine aggregate which is pre mixed with bituminous binder and type c is also a pre mixed seal coat with the application of 6.7 mm size stone chips which are pre mixed with bituminous binder the difference between type b and type c is of the size of aggregate here we use only fine aggregates which are mixed with bituminous binder whereas in case of type c it is 6.7 mm and down stone chips the requirement of binder for different types of seal coat is given in this table for type a liquid seal coat if you are using bitumen it is 9.8 kg per 10 m square area if it is emulsion it is 12 to 14 kg per 10 m square surface area for type b pre mix seal coat it is 6.9 6.8 and 10 to 12 kg per m square area and for type c where pre mixed seal coat is provided using stone chips of 6.7 mm size this pre mixing is done with 4.5% binder by weight of total mix and in case of emulsion it is 9 to 11 kg per 10 m square aggregates for seal coat type a these are stone chips of 6 7. mm size passing 11.2 mm and retained on 2.36 mm c quantity will be 0.09 m cube for 10 m square area and water absorption should not be more than 1% in case of type b aggregates will be sand or grit passing 2.36 mm and retained on 0.18 mm or 180 micron and quantity of the sand will be 0.06 m cube for 10 m square area whereas for type c stone chips will be of 6.7 mm sieve size that is passing 9.7 mm and retained on 2.36 mm c the quantity of binder will be 0.09 m cube per 10 m square area and water absorption will be less than 1% construction of type a seal coat either with bitumen or emulsion will be in three four steps first you clean the surface where you are providing the seal coat heat the bitumen at a temperature of 150 to 160 degree centigrade and no heating is required if emulsion is used then spray the bitumen or emulsion at a uniform rate with a self propelled or towed mechanical sprayer and then soon after spread the clean and dry stone chips uniformly by means of self propelled or towed mechanical grit spreader so as to cover the entire surface completely and then rolling with 80 to 100 kN static or vibratory roller is done in case of type b seal coat the procedure is more or less same we heat the bitumen to 150 to 163 degrees centigrade in a boiler heat the aggregate and again no heating is required the mixer is used then mix bitumen and aggregate in a mixer transport the mix from mixing plant to the point of use and spread uniformly on the bitumen surface to be sealed and again the rolling is done with a static or vibratory roller roller of 80 to 100 kN in case of type c it is similar to laying off a pre mixed carpet material and it should normally be prepared in hot mix plant binder is heated at 150 to 163 degree centigrade 
and aggregates are heated separately at 155 to 163 degrees centigrade and then we prepare the homogeneous mix of binder and aggregate and transport it to the site then spread the material on the surface by a suitable means and the desired thickness and then compact the surface with 80 to 100 kilometer static weight so friends thank you very much for watching this video you can write your comments in the comment box